Oh, hello, it's Heather. I recently had somebody ask me about creating occlusion in Adobe Arrow, and it wasn't supported until recently. There's been an update, so let's dig in. So when people say occlusion, there's actually multiple types. There's real-time occlusion, which is hiding digital objects behind real physical objects. For example, this digital monster behind this real door, this is not supported in Arrow. But there are other AR softwares that do support it, such as Niantic Lightship. There's also occluder materials, which allow you to hide or mask digital objects. And this is supported in Arrow, so let's go over it. First off, I've created uh, this cube with a little bitty window with the face removed and blender. And what I'd like to do is mask out this animated background on this digital illustration of mine. Um, so what we're going to do is actually import that box as either a, a, an FBX or a GLB file, select it, and then on the right hand side under the properties panel, click on object, select use as mask, and deselect cast shadows. Um, and now you can see if we had a preview what this is going to look like. It's actually chopping off um, the rest of that background so we're getting this nice uh, sort of depth effect and you're not seeing the edges. There's all sorts of use cases for this, um, everything from business cards to art prints to regular cards. I think that Adobe had a, um, a ton of requests for this feature, so I'm actually really excited to see that it is now available. Um, it's only been available within like the last year or so. So if you tried to do this before in Arrow and it didn't work, try it again. There's also this hacky version where you have a one-sided material where one side is invisible and the other side is visible. This actually has been available in Arrow the whole time. And you can actually use it to create kind of cool effects. So I created this cube just to illustrate the point, but this cube is made of panels that are planes rather that have one side that is visible and one side that is invisible. Then I've set them on um, delayed timers and animated their rotation, creating uh, this effect. So this is really simple. Just create your object, uh, create a new material slot and a new material. I'm in Blender, by the way, but this uh, is transferable to all 3D softwares. Um, the concept is. So first off, I'm going to select a color just so we can kind of see the visible side, then scroll down to settings and put a check mark next to back face culling. So culling and occlusion are essentially the same thing. They are going to occlude or cull that information. So now you can see we have this plane which has one visible side and one invisible side. Go ahead and export that as an FBX or GLB file, import into Arrow um, just by dragging and dropping, and that's it. You actually don't have to do any additional settings in Adobe Arrow to achieve this effect. I encourage you to play around with this too just because I often find that like the simplest techniques or uh, you know the more primitive your uh, construction components are uh, the more you can kind of push them to their limits within those constraints and you can actually end up with stuff that's like really interesting so yeah go out there and, and have fun and uh, explore. And that's it. I hope I answered all your questions, but if not, just let me know down below. Until then, happy making.